cameraman if you want. Notice this one here. There is a little bit of glue holding that peg in. All right, y'all, I'm gonna be honest. I got here late, so I'm just gonna use uh, leftover ribbon from whenever Jordan was here. So I've got black pipe cleaners, got red pipe cleaners. That should cover all the colors. White, we should be good. All right, so it's Memorial Day. Let's start with a patriotic bow. Let's look at what patriotic ribbon we've got quickly available here. We've got a nice four inch. We've got two and a half inch. Another two and a half inch. and some one and a half inch options. Y'all, I may or may not have thrown a few of my own into the pile, real quick like. Jordan's door hanger was beautiful for sure. Y'all, I want one more red. Let me see if I have one right here. Let's use this. So let's get rid of this one. Use this one. Let's get rid of these two because they're glittery and nothing else is. So that'll be our combination. We will move this one towards the outside since it's got all the colors. All right. So we're going to start with our four inch. Y'all, whenever I'm selling just bows in my Etsy shop. I make this same bow over and over again. So we're going to start with a 12 inch tail. We're going to give it a good pinch. Give it a twist. All right, we're gonna do about a seven inch loop. And another seven inch loop. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and cut ourselves a tail right up here somewhere around eight inches. All right, turn it into a nice X. All right, then let's grab our next one. Let's go with an eight inch tail on this side. Give it a good twist, slide it in here. Measure out a little bit smaller than our other one.
All right, and give it a tail. Let's go to our next ribbon. All right. Now these tails at the bottom will all be the same length. Yeah, it's a fuzzy plaid. Deb, you won't find those scissors until they come back in stock. All right, so we're just making that X over and over again. All right, long tail towards the top, or short tail towards the top. And the loops are just going to get a little bit smaller every time. You love this view? This is the view that we teach with in the creative coaching group. Here's another fuzzy ribbon. How much do I sell the bows for? Supplies times three plus $7.95 for shipping. All right, one more loop. This time will just be our center loop. So all we're gonna do is put our tail in there and bring it over for one loop and then trim it off. So much easier to see, yep. All right. Uh, Tracy, are you squeezing the trigger? All right, so then I'm just gonna slide it off going to insert my pipe cleaner right around the bow. Y'all, you gotta make sure your pipe cleaners went all the way around. Push down with your thumb and squeeze tight with your fingers. And then just Give your bow a good twist. While you're twisting it, I'm constantly pulling the pipe cleaner down and pushing up on the ribbon. Why just one loop in the center? Because all I want that center loop for is whenever, see how you can see the pipe cleaner? Whenever I fluff it out, it hides the pipe cleaner.
Do I mail those flat or fluffed? I don't send anything flat. The customer is going to get it exactly the way they see it. What size box would I ship it in? Twelve by twelve by six. All right, let's trim up our tails. Y'all, if the customer could uh, fluff a bow and make it pretty, why would they buy one from you? Your job is to give them exactly what they're paying for. So all you have to do is squeeze the trigger, hold it, and push across the mesh. If you let it go, it's going to pop back up. Jordan made his own candy corn attachment. I know. I saw him being made. Jordan's getting crafty, y'all. Is it hard to figure out how much you spent making a bow? No. So if you're in the business coaching group, uh, you know we have a formula for it. Y'all, I wasn't uh, prepared to do that tonight. Let me clear off some whiteboard. That's enough. All right. So how many ribbons are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six ribbons. All right. So on ribbon number one, we're just going to go longest to shortest. Ribbon number one, we measured 12 inches right We measured a 12 inch tail. then we measured out to seven inches but it also came back. So that's about 14. We did that on both sides. And then we did an eight inch tail at the top, right? So 28 plus 12 plus eight is 48 inches. All right. Now for each one of these, we just went down a half an inch. That means it's one inch shorter right here. Everything else stayed the same. Right? So 13, 12, 11, 10. Both ways. We 
We cap eight inches. So we should just be able to take away the two inches on every one. Right? In the middle, we did eight plus equals 25 inches, right? So if we knew this ribbon was 550, we would have to say 550 divided by 360, because there's 360 inches in the roll, right? So 5.5 5 divided by 360 equals 0 0.15 times 44 equals 67 cents for that line, right? And you would just keep doing this throughout. Y'all, I'm just going to make up some numbers because I don't know how much all this ribbon was. So let's say this one was $8 divided by 360 times 48. Yo, I'm just going to make up some numbers. Four seventy three times three equals fourteen nineteen plus shipping, right? So all we did was figure out how much ribbon we used, multiply it times the price per inch. Add it up. That's it. In Albany, what's up? Now, wait, let's do that. Y'all, what if what if we bought this ribbon right here? Right? What if we bought this ribbon right here and let's say we spent uh, $25 on all this ribbon. Okay, then we sat here and we made our bows. And we were able to make six bows. So just take total spent divided by six. That's 416 per bow.
R1250, right? So if you're just making one, I would do it like this. If you know that you bought this and you're only gonna make bows, you could just divide it by how many bows you made. You couldn't let that bow go for $15? Well, like I said, we just made up the prices. We didn't, uh, we didn't verify that's how much the prices were. So that bow could be 30 bucks. I don't know. I'll have to look up the ribbon and see. All right. Let's make another bow. Y'all, we're going to use the same ribbon, but do one just slightly different. Where do I, you come up with the times three? Because uh, I know what my time's worth. If you only want to do times two and sell more and work more, go for it, friend. None of us are going to stop you. All right. So same as before. Except this time I'm going to alternate between the different sizes as we go. Uh, I'm measuring on the Easy Bow Maker. All right, so each loop just gets a little bit smaller. Would it be wise to write down the numbers as you go? Absolutely. Sharon, yeah, it's a lot faster.
Uh, Jacqueline, the good rule of thumb is to look up what you paid for it. Y'all, ribbon can vary a whole lot. I would not make up my prices if you're trying to run a profitable business. Wrong ribbon, y'all. Yeah, so whenever I first started, as soon as a new shipment would come in, I would sit there with the new stuff and the invoice and my calculator. And if this was, let's say we paid $4.99 for this. I would do $4.99 divided by $3.60 and I would write on there .014 per inch. And every single roll had it on there when I first started. Uh, Capri, the coaching group's open right now. Kim, but you know how much you paid for the box, so you can buy that by the items in the box. All right, give it a good push down and give it a twist. All right, we can measure this out. If you're in the business coaching group, I would highly recommend that you go to the resources sheet that talks about pricing. Because we give you some little cheater notes. So whenever you first log into the membership portal under business coaching, scroll past the cha-ching blueprint buttons and all that, and it'll say resources, and then right past resources, one should say estimated pricing or something. And you should see some little papers that you can print out and save. All right, exact same ribbon. Exact same ribbon, just a different layered technique. Right? So we just alternated them instead of just going largest to smallest. If you're in the coaching group and you printed out that paper and you have it, you probably knew that this bow was gonna cost us about $15 to make before we ever added up what was in it.
All right. So this is one. Do you deduct the extra that you just cut off from the price? No. I can't get that back, right? I can't sell this to someone else. So they have to pay for the full amount that I used. All right, there's two. So let's do, forgot to dovetail a red one. Yep. I had to make sure you're paying attention. All right. Let's measure this one about 12 inches. Give it a good pinch. Give it a twist. All right, this time we're gonna measure out about six inches. Now, this is a bow that I learned from Kali. I think she calls it her blast off bow. So we're gonna start with our X. They're all about six inches. But we're gonna add one more layer right in the center. Uh, nope, I would not sell those as a multiple because they're not the same. Multiples are identical. All right. Now we're going to go with our next layer. These are not super glued in. They're just hammered in. Now we're gonna do an X, slightly smaller. Jeannie, this is the way that we do in creative coaching. So if you like this view, you probably want to join us there. All right, now we're going to do a single one. Fifteen times three plus shipping. Nope. So the sale price is fifteen, not the cost to make. So it's fifteen plus shipping. How much do you charge if the customer supplies the ribbon? I would never do that. Get our pipe cleaner. Y'all, you have no idea what that customer is going to show up with, what the quality is going to look like. 
and then your work depends on their inability to know what to purchase. I'm out, not doing it. All right, pull it nice and tight. Give it a good twist. All right, now we just gotta cover up that center. So in this case, we cut ourselves a piece of ribbon. Fold it in half and just wrap this right around that center. So this is one that uh, Klee makes every Wednesday, y'all. Pull it tight. I'm gonna trim those up a little bit. Separate them out. Clean up our tails. I do like to leave these tails as long as possible so that customers can trim them down if they want. So just a simpler bow. So this one you would have to do 12 times 4, 12 times 8, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 on both sides. So 12 times 8, then these are 10, so 10, 10, 10, 10 times 6 and then eight times four to get your total inches. All right. Y'all, let's find another box, by the way. Y'all, and these were the ribbon boxes that uh, Jordan made whenever he was here, so they're already sold out but you can still find some of this ribbon on the website. Let's check out the fall box that he did. Y'all, I only want to use two ribbons, so I'm just checking out to see which two that I want to work with. Yeah. Let's do these two. Right. 
same thing, 12 inch tail. Give it a good pinch, give it a twist, slide your twist right down the middle. Let's do a six and a half inch tail. And this time, I'm gonna measure out about eight inches here. And bring it up towards the top. Do we sell the bow maker? Yeah, it's at decoexchange.com. All right, now same thing, just opposite direction. So eight inch, give it a twist. Measure out our tail. Now on this one, We're gonna do the exact same thing, but we're gonna double up every time, right? So if all I did was keep going back and forth, I would end up with half my bow like this and half of it like this. So we have to double. So one, one, and then we're doing this side again. So measure our tail, give it a twist. Make our loop a little bit smaller and bring the tail down. Now we can alternate back to the one and a half inch on this side. All right, now we gotta double up on this side. Just slightly smaller. Terry, the AC is always on for sure. All right, we're just gonna slide it off, get our pipe cleaner around it. Pull it nice and tight. And give it a good twist. All right, fluff it out. How to find the Creative Coaching Portal, go to members.themakersuniversity.com. Y'all, how many of y'all are taking the uh, shipping challenge this weekend or the shipping class? What part of Louisiana? We're just outside of New Orleans.
Does it matter which side of the bow maker you work from? Nope. As long as you make a bow. Awesome, Brandy. Y'all, we missed one. So y'all, if I was going to ship this to a customer, what I would do is number one, make sure it fit in the box. But y'all, we're gonna make one more bow that actually fits in one of these boxes so that I can show you. All right, let's make, let's make a Christmas bow because I have Christmas right here. Landa, we have a whole new shipping program that is free. So last time you would have paid for ShipStation. This time we have a new source with a free class. All right. So let's make a bow that fits in the box that we have handy. So first we're gonna lose that crinkle. All right, so let's do eight inch tail. Give it a good twist. We're gonna measure out about six inches. Layer two, just a little bit smaller, so about five and a half inches. What's up, Debbie? Hope you're feeling better. Shelly, just log in to the membership portal and click on OSHIP 2021. So we're just making a bow so that we can use it in the example. All right, get our pipe cleaner. Give it a good little pinch and twist. 
Capri, all of our business coaching applies to every type of business. So you just insert your business plan with our model and you can grow it. All right, so we have a lot less ribbon than normal because I mainly just needed an example bow and the box is pretty shallow. All right. So if I was going to ship this bow to a customer, I would, number one, grab a box that came from Deco Exchange that we shipped you the ribbon in and cut it into pieces like this. Then you're going to grab something with a point and you're going to make two holes in it. Hopefully this will work. Y'all, normally I have a, um, an ice pick, but I don't see it. Hang on. Got one. An ice pick usually works. All right. So make our two holes in the center. If you ever just do a class on setting up on Etsy shop, we have that already in our membership portal. All right, then you're going to take this and attach it to this piece of board. Just slide it through there. Get that nice and tight. Tie it off. All right, then we're gonna just put that flat. All right, now we're gonna take our pointy device and poke holes in each corner. or on each end. All right. Now at this point, you could take zip ties if you wanted to and put those in there. I tend to just use pipe cleaners All right, then I take this little piece and I put this piece inside the box. Make a hole through the bottom of the box. and then attach the cardboard on each end down. Anyone know why that's a good idea to do it this way? All right, tie this one off. 
What size box is this? It's the size box that your bow fits in. So this one is a 10 by 10 by five. So it don't move, no movement. That's not why I do this one. So it doesn't get smashed in shipping. Nope. Y'all, if that was the case, we could have just tied it down to the box, right? So it doesn't flatten the bow. Nope. So customer doesn't cut part of the bow. That's right. So how many of y'all have ever purchased something and it's tied down in the box and you just start cutting the bottom, right? You just cut off the things at the bottom and move forward, right? Well, what would happen if you tied the bow, right? The pipe cleaner that's tied to the bow was through the box and your customer pulled off the tape and cut the pipe cleaner that's meant to hold it all together or to be used to attach. Right? So this way, if the customer cuts the pipe cleaner, they're not gonna cut the pipe cleaner that's holding the bow in. Y'all ask me, ask me how I know about this one. I sent a $150 tree topper bow to a customer and she cut it right out of the box. And guess what happened? She was mad at me for not securing the bow together. Connie, if you pay $24.99, that's a membership. Do you know which lady said she didn't have a record of you? All right, we're gonna make sure that we fluff our bow back out so it's nice and pretty. All right. Tape it up. Make sure you tape these down. You don't get how the pipe cleaners stop them from cutting the bow. Well, let me demonstrate. Magic. So safe. One piece. All right, what else is down here?
I snatched some ribbon last night. Let's make one more bow. Barb, no, so the new shipping class, uh, you can ship one wreath in your whole life or you can ship a wreath every 20 minutes. Doesn't matter. All right, so let's measure out ourselves a tail. Give it a good pinch. Sandy's new, just email again and tell her that you are paying for $24.99 every month is creative coaching. And tell her that you need a manager to help you. How much do you pay for Etsy? Zero. So we're having, uh... so backstory y'all, uh, Sandy does not actually work in customer service. Sandy works in, um, the accounting group, really, but our customer service person can't seem to come to work, so Sandy's been filling in. So Sandy is still learning the system. So if you get a question from Sandy and you don't think it's right, just keep having a conversation. You thought creative coaching was $35 a month? It is currently, but if you joined way back when, when it was just me, before I added all the coaches, you're paying a different price. So whatever price you sign up at, you basically sign a contract and we hold that price until your payment fails or you leave and sign back up. Yep, so $24.99, she probably signed up like two years ago, y'all. There's no minimum months we have to sign up for. There is not.
All right, I'm just gonna tie this one off. Can we buy these ribbons from your shop? Uh, if they're in stock, yes. Yeah, so if you think about it, that person's been paying a lower price for a longer time, right? But you joined later and you got all the content that they paid for already. So every year, right, every single year, the price usually goes up a little bit to make up for those customers that have been paying for all that time. All right, y'all look how pretty. I love mixing in the black and white for fall because it's not something that you see every day and it's gonna capture their attention. Y'all, to give you an example to help explain that situation a little bit more. So let's say you sign up today for $35. You get access to our whole vault of, co our whole vault of coaching. Um, that includes, you know, hundreds of videos. And you get instant access for 35 Whereas someone who may have joined um, way back in 2017 with me may only be paying 19, but they've been paying 19 for a long time, right? They've already paid for their access. Y'all, look how cute. I love this. Now I want to make a bigger one. Let's make a bigger one with the same color pattern. Hey Beth, if you email the help desk at info at damonotes.com, they will help you in the order of which they receive your email. Or just log in to the membership portal, click on business coaching, and it will tell you how much it is to upgrade. All right, hang on. Let's pull in a few more ribbons. So let's see if I can find a yellow and orange. Talk amongst yourselves, friends. I was thinking this orange was gonna to be too bright, but it's not. This orange is too dull. Uh, what do you do if your credit card's about to expire? You just email the help desk and they can help you out with that. All right, let's get some more burlap in here. Make a new one. Y'all, 
you want to join the business coaching, all you have to do is go to learnfromdamon.com and you can click on business coaching. All right. Let's go to about the seven inch mark. Sylvia, yep, it's just a one-time $30 fee, one class on Saturday. Where are the no so classes? They're in the membership portal. All right, we're gonna alternate ribbons around a little bit. So I don't wanna put the sunflower ribbon all the way to the back, because then the sunflowers will all be covered and hidden. What if you put a small brown sunflower center? You could. I wouldn't, but you could. All right, now let's get our sunflowers in here. Can't get the boat right, just keep practicing. Glenda, have you tried logging into the membership portal? If you look in the group, we post all the time where to find videos. Linda, log in to members.themakersuniversity.com, click on Creative Coaching, then click on All Projects.
So y'all, all we did in this bow was pull out All we did was look at this ribbon here and we found all the colors in it and we just duplicated it. Right? So we pulled in the yellow, the orange, the burlap, the white, the black and white. Did I go to any kind of school? Yeah, I went to school for accounting and engineering. Awesome, Josh. Karen, this is not a new view. This is the view that we use to teach with. So don't get used to it on the Deco Exchange page. If you like this view, you can join us at damonscreativecoaching.com. Y'all, you also have to uh, just remember that I've made thousands of bows got lots of practice and you're gonna have to practice too lots of practice I'm gonna turn this down a little bit Molly, just match the colors. Kelly, if I remember, I'll start saving you all these little triangles. Kelly, I didn't know your uncle passed away until like two days after. Debbie, I burned my Provo, so no, I don't use it. Y'all, Kelly is uh, my uncle, my uncle. Kelly is uh, my cousin. Her dad was my stepdad's uncle. <clears throat> Y'all, all right, so we made this bow. We made, I think this is my favorite one of tonight. I love this one right here. We made this fall bow. So I think this one's my favorite. This one. Which one of the patriotic ones do you like best? The one where we layered the different tails, right? So this one has the different sizes layered without. This one has largest to smallest at the top.
This one is just fun. I like it. I like the colors in this one. I wonder if this is gonna match the scarecrow that I bought this week. We'll see. And then this one right here, just nice and neat. So y'all, I would use this type of bow on a grapevine because it's nice and airy. And it just makes it nice and easy to fill in. Oh yeah, we also made Klee's bow. We figured out how to price a bow. We did that in this video. We did that here. So if you missed that, you can go back and watch the replay. You like the polka dot ribbon? Uh, the polka dot ribbon, oh wait, we also made this bow that I have in the trash, hang on. The one that we showed you how to ship a bow with. Megan, I'm not making a wreath. Um, where is the polka dot ribbon so I can see where it came from? Oh, that one is a deco exchange ribbon for sure. All right. Y'all don't forget to go to the shipping class. You're going to want to take that if you plan on selling online at all. And you know what? If you already think you know everything about shipping, but you just need better prices, you don't even have to take a class. Just go to cheaperreathshipping.com and you can sign up to get cheaper wreath shipping. Uh, but in the class, the main thing about the class, so you're going to learn what, well, you can learn already about what makes the cost go up. So... Right? So in a box, whenever you ship, what matters is the dim. So the dim weight. Times distance. So the smaller the dim and the shorter the distance, the cheaper the price is going to be. So y'all. Dim weight is what matters. It doesn't, so people are always like, oh, um, how much is that wreath weigh? That's going to be so expensive to ship. I promise you, you will never make a wreath weigh more than the dim weight. It's not going to happen. Y'all, if you send out like a 18 by 18 by four, that's like 45 pounds dim weight. Even if it weighs three pounds. Okay, so if your wreath weighs one pound or 15 pounds, probably doesn't matter because it's never gonna weigh less than the dim weight. 
So we're going to use this information here. And I have a nice spreadsheet that I built that shows people how to use this information to get the average shipping price because you're going to want that. Yeah, dim weight. If you don't know what dim is, you should probably take the class. Just saying. All right. So average shipping price. Why? So average shipping price is how I can say uh, my wreaths are $15 for shipping. Because I can calculate the dim weight times the distance, come up with an average shipping price, right? So let's say my dim weight is, or my average shipping is $20. Wreath number one may be 25. Wreath number two may be 15. Wreath number three may be 30, may be 10. Okay, when you add all these up and you divide by four, it should still be really close to your average shipping price. Y'all, you are not gonna sit here and say, oh, hey, customer on Etsy, I only charged you $20, but it cost me 25, so I'm gonna need to invoice you for five more dollars. Y'all, you don't do that. And on the next one, you don't say, oh, hey, customer, you overpaid by $10, uh, let me, or five, let me go ahead and refund you $5. Y'all, at the end of the year, your shipping should average out to your average shipping price. So in the class on Saturday, we're going to show you how to calculate this as accurate as possible, right? So I know a thousand percent that my average price is $11.25 for every box that leaves the warehouse. Guess what? I may ship a hundred boxes to Texas that only cost me $10 and I may ship 10, 10 boxes to California that cost me 45, but all the boxes are going to average out at the end of the year to be about 1125. We are gonna give you our list of suppliers on where we get all our shipping information, all our shipping materials. Uh, we're gonna show you a software that it doesn't matter how much you ship. So this software, y'all, um, if you don't wanna take the class because you already know all the things, but you still need to save on shipping, here, do this. cheaper wreath shipping.com just go there and sign up you don't have to take the class you can just cheaper wreath shipping.com it'll take you to a company called parcel path and you can figure it out i guarantee you that if you're shipping anything larger than uh, 20 by 20 by 6, you will save money shipping through Parcel Path. Right? But if you don't want to pay me to learn from me, you can still go to cheaperreshipping.com and sign up for a free account and save yourself some money.
I don't care, y'all. I want you to save money. But if you want to walk through um, how me and Parker saved, y'all, uh, our first, our second year in business, um, we shipped, I don't know, like 25,000 boxes. Right? 25,000 boxes. And we saved, on average, $7 a box. Y'all, 25000 times $7 a box savings was a lot of money that we saved in our business, right? Now, we have the ability to go to places and say, hey, we ship 25,000 boxes, make us a deal. Most of y'all don't have that, but guess what? Parcel Path partnered with Wreath Makers and they went and negotiated on behalf of all of us, right? So they went and said, hey, let's, let's make a deal, FedEx. I'm gonna bring you all these wreath makers and they ship in these five box sizes. I'm just using an example. What kind of deal can we make? So now all of you guys who ship one, two, three, 20 boxes a month and it's not enough to negotiate like we did Parcel Path is taking all of your numbers together and negotiating on your behalf. So, for example, the other day we shipped a uh, 25 by 25 by 9 for $19 because they went out and negotiated that price for all of us. Gene, at the bottom of the video, there should be a share button. All you have to do is click on it. Yep. So basically, you can join them for free, right? Cheaperreshipping.com. It's absolutely free. Is it just for wreaths? No, but I usually talk only to wreath makers. So this gets their attention, right? That's it. This is called a vanity URL. We teach that in the business coaching group. Um, it's just easy for people to remember. So whenever you type in cheaperreshipping.com, it's gonna bring you to parcelpath.com. I just wanted something easy for my people to know. Right? So one of our students, um, she saved $40 on two separate wreaths in the same day. Y'all, that's $80. One person has paid for two months of business coaching off of one day shipping with her savings, right? How do you sign up for the class? So if you wanna take the full class and learn all the things, go to howtoshipareef.com. So this, Just savings. Full class. How to ship a reef. Dot com. Y'all, and it applies to anything, right? But we just wanted to talk to our people. That's why it has wreath in it. Josh said he saved $18 today shipping with it. How awesome is that? You don't have to have a FedEx account, so Parcel Path is going to negotiate all those on the behalf of the whole group. Angie, if you took the class last year, then you probably only need to do this, right? because you already know how to calculate all your averages and all that kind of stuff. All right, y'all, it is getting late. Um, I am gonna go home. 
I may not be live tomorrow on the page because um, I teach in the creative coaching group tomorrow night and that usually takes up my whole night. Kelly, so the business coaching group applies to every type of online business. All right, you guys, have a good night. Don't forget, if you wanna take the full class, go to howtoshipareath.com. If you just want to grow your business, you can go to learnfromdamon.com and check out business coaching or creative coaching. Y'all, we also have a discount group that we don't talk about. So if you shop a lot with places like Deco Exchange and Trendy Tree and The Wreath Shop and all those places, you should probably be in the discount group. It's $8.99 a month and you get anywhere between 10 and 20% off from 30 different craft supply stores. So you can go to learnfromdamon.com to also find out about the Deco discount group. All right, said a lot of words, made a lot of